Welcome back, folks, to Farming Simulator 2022. We are going to do story time. Let's kick a tire here. And we're going to do story time with Supa. Now, once upon a time, it was May. And we cut down a lot of these trees. Then, once upon a time in May... We went over, let's see here, uh, we went over to here and filled this all up. And as you can see, we got a trailer with a couple logs left. And also in May, we did a few other things. We bought, oh, if you can see here, we bought this on sale and we did a couple other things and we'll fill you in on that. Now, why am I telling you this story? Because some moron, we won't mention any names and poke anybody's face out, may have left their mic on mute the whole episode and wrecked the whole episode. I don't want to say any names. I think we all know who it was. No point reason to point blame on people. And also, um, I'm not an adult. And I don't like to take credit for my own actions. So, I have gathered all of these wood, or all the wood. And by the way, I would just like to be, say it, I know we're all thinking it. I have a lot of morning wood. It's just all over the place and everywhere. So, I've grabbed all our productions. By the way, the barrel factory is insane. Because, as you know, I've already filled... Uh, this isn't very much of our wood from the sawmill, as you can see. There's like two prefabs, a couple stacks of planks, and a couple stacks of wood beams. There's really not that much there. So our productions, I let them, you know, stock up for a little bit. And I did fill up the roller coaster. Um, and we're going to go top it off just to make sure. But we did that in the last episode, the forgotten episode. Um, but we're going to see if we can't get any more, and we're just going to fill this bad boy as full as we can get it. Um, ooh, can we get a prefab in there, maybe? No, oh, yeah. There is a lot of stuff going in there, though. I mean, we, we did, so $25,000 worth of product went in there. And actually, some prefabs did as well. So we're going to sell this. This thing is a full. Um, and we got a really cool episode. I am going to fill you in on the boatyard. And wow, we are making a lot of cash off of this, in fact. Hopefully I don't have to come back over here and clean all this up. Wow, look at the money. We're going to make a hundred grand off of this load. Are you kidding me? We need a hundred and twenty grand off that friggin' load. I am so excited, guys. You have no idea. Um, so we did buy that sugarcane thing. It was on sale. And let's head over here quickly. Um, you can see that it says it needs a lot of stuff, but I already put it in there. All right? You can see the storage. There's a lot in there. Now, if we do need more in July, we know that we actually will need it. Also, once this thing gets fired up, and we can hear, hopefully, the Jake break. I don't know if that's loud enough for you guys to hear or not. We are actually going to head over this way. Um, and, and part of the money while we're at 350000 is obviously last episode we sold wood from the sawmill, too. And that brought us up. So, sorry about that last episode, guys. Uh, me being a moron. Um, in fact, I just double-checked and looked down to make sure I wasn't muted. Uh, just because. And I did put all these resources in here. Hopefully next month this will be done. And then we don't have to worry about it. I have done all said chores this episode. Now, you know, because we bought that sugarcane thing last episode. I've been watching the sales as like a hawk. So... Check this out. We have the 
a Veltra on sale here. Now, I know what you're thinking. That's not bigger horsepower than what we got. But what it does provide here is it gives us a little bit more power to start getting into other things. And we're going to go with narrow tires on Michelin here. And we can also do other things with this later down the road. But this is going to be pretty cool. We're going to have it upgraded to the 271 horse. It's a Veltra. I don't know if I have a good name for it yet. Um, hmm, I might think about a, a name. First of all, let's take no plates for the time being. Uh, we'll put it on front and back. We won't name it Beefcakes. I'll have to think of a better name than Beefcakes. Uh, this isn't really Beefcake worthy, but it is a super going to be efficient tractor for us. And we're going to buy it. Also, that other cedar came on sale. Let's go. Oh, there is the new tractor. It does need to be repaired. Now, this came at a perfect time because we want to start expanding our field or our, our grass stuff or getting it upgraded a little bit. And let's be honest, there's a couple problems with these old tractors. First, they're slow. See, 24 miles an hour. This one is 19. The new one is 32, as you can see, right here, so it's quicker. And also, this guy has a front three-point hitch with a PTO, which these do not have. It's a sad day on the old farm. Let's repay, or repair. We're not going to repaint. I think we're okay with it. We're going to move this out of the way, because we got to say goodbye to our wonderful, dear old friends, Little Horse, and the mower, which that mower, surprisingly, was a lot better than I thought it was. So let's take a gander at the mower here so you can see what we're going to be upgrading to. 6.3 meters wide. And then you'll see why I needed to make this, why this Veltra came up at a perfect time here because you're going to see what we're going to be doing today. We have to do hay. Let's go ahead, repaint, uh, repair, and we will we'll sell it. Re we will do the same thing. Let's see, the value goes up 10000 It went up more than 10000 I always like to check that and make sure that is the case. So goodbye, little horse. And this is a sad day for me because I really enjoyed this tractor. But this is a direct replacement to this guy. So, it is a very sad day for me because it's probably been this one in the Dirty 30, if you guys remember the Dirty 30. Probably my two favorite tractors in the game. So, as you can see... We have a great Veltra. It is actually kind of a sad moment for me. Now, because we're trying to save money and get a new harvester, we're not going to go straight into get wrecked land on these mowers. But I do want to upgrade the mower. As you can see, where are the mowers? Oh, that's owned items. The last one was 6.3. And what we're going to be doing now today, where is the mower? There we go. We are going to go our first little jump. We're going to jump up to seven or 8.3, guys. And we're going to test. This is going to be 27. We have 271 horse on the Veltra. And this is going to be 180 horse to run it. And we're going to check today if it runs it because we absolutely need to do our grass field. Our, our, well, we'll have to see what we got to do. We're going to go check the uh bail barn now as you can see we're getting a little low on bales particularly hay bales we're down to three so i think today we're going to do hay and we are going to name this thing uh, the veltra so let's get over by the hay field oh we're right here actually i'm an idiot so we are going to unfurl this bad boy and give this thing a whirl first of all does it actually go 32? Because sometimes they 
Oh yeah. Look at that speed. Horn. Poopy. Interior. Ooh, fancy as all two ups. Okay. Ooh, the fenders even turn out the tires. But you can see why this coming on sale. Let's unfurl. Unfurl. You can definitely see why this coming on sale was such a big deal to us. We'll turn on that one. We'll lower. We will turn on this one. Now, does this thing handle? Oh, yeah. Look at this. Mowing action. I'm so pumped, guys. But you can see this is a beautiful upgrade for us. I also have the narrow tires on it. You can see why we wanted the three-point hitch now. Um, some of these upgraded mowers are going to be super handy to us here and be wider. Now, I wonder how this will turn. Uh, there's a little bit of an overlap. I, that's going to bug me a little bit, but I'll have to get used to it and make the adjustments as we go. All right. So, I am going to do a ring around here, and I think... Uh, we got some a hay montage coming up here, folks. I'm on the train headed back to Indiana. The rain is forming into rivers outside. Writing down all the things that I miss. And in the letters you take form. No, I won't. This is definitely a great tractor for us right now. This is a good fit. I am pumped about it. As you can see, we have 14 or so, 17 bales. Let's see if we can get them all in there. Perfect. And our bale barn is looking a little better here, folks. I can't wait to see in the next episode. We're going to try to get the others up. Have a good one, folks.